everyone, it's Casey from Yoga Squared. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and get started seated in a cross-legged position. Whichever leg is, in com is uh, comfortable for you in front is great. And we'll just put your hands on your knees, relaxing the shoulders down, closing your eyes and kind of puffing the chest up towards the chin so that way the shoulders draw back. Imagining a horizontal line from shoulder to breastbone to other shoulder. Start to notice the curvature of your spine. Starting at the low back, a lot of times we let that space kind of bow backwards. So start to think of a little bit more space between each vertebrae, right there at the low back, and that's gonna kind of telescope upward into the rib cage. Sometimes that puffs the chest forward too much, so let's draw that back in a little. And then bring your attention to your upper back finding that horizontal line again with the shoulders and breastbone. And then lift the chin so that way it's level with the floor. And start to notice your breath. Notice where the body is hiding its tension today. Now for me, it's all in my neck and shoulders today. <laughs> Notice where it is for you. It might be hiding in your hip flexors or your inner thighs or your jaw or your brow. You don't have to solve that problem just yet. Just notice where am I shoving my tension? And start to exaggerate your out breath. Relax your hands a little bit. And start to bring your chin into your chest as you exhale. Keep pulling those shoulder heads back. Feeling the sensation climb up the spine. And begin to bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Letting your left shoulder drop a little bit. And then chin goes back to chest over to the other side. A little bit heavier through the right shoulder now. And chin goes back to chest, back and forth. With your breath, inhale through the side, exhale chin back to chest. If you wanna take it all the way back, that might feel nice. Just lift through your chin when you do that, rather than crunching through the cervical spine. And if you take those full circles, we go two or three times around and then switch, going the opposite way. Check and see if you started to slump. I did. <laughs> Pay attention. Chin goes to chest. Next time, you're right there, pause. And take your hands back behind you, interlace your fingers, webbing to webbing, and then start to drive your knuckles down towards the floor, puff up through the chest, maybe look up a little. Good. How long can you make the sides of your neck? We'll inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, let's twist over to the right, left hand crosses your body. And drop your left shoulder. You can keep your palm down if you want. Flip the palm up and then use the back of your hand like a leverage point. That can kind of get you into a little better alignment with the twist. That way it's happening with your back rather than your bicep. Some of you might like the idea of taking your back hand and bringing it around to your hip crease. And if you do that, notice if your shoulder rounds forward, I want you to pull it back, almost like you're trying to get it out of your peripheral vision. Good. We'll start to unwind our body. Arms go up by the ears, full breath in. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Interlace your fingers, push the palms away from you, shrug the shoulders forward, round through the spine, chin to chest. Good. Inhale, lift up, pull the pinkies back, look up. 
and exhale, twist the other way. So now right hand crosses the body, and you can either let your hand rest down or flip your hand the other way, pressing into your wrist. Use a nice big breath out. If you want to take your back hand and flip it around to your low back or your hip crease, that can kind of make things a little bit bigger. Keep that horizontal line across the front of the chest. Don't let the chest bow in. Good. Let's unwind the body. Arms go up and over by the ears. And then we'll start to bring our ribs to our legs. Hinging forward. Breathing into the back body. Relax your jaw, relax your facial muscles. Then start to reach yourself all the way back up. Switch the crossing of your legs so the unfamiliar leg is in front. Reach up through the side body. Let's start to bring right hand down, left arm up and over. Good. A little bit lower, try and high five that wall on the opposite side of the room. And then reach up, inhale. Exhale, other way. Fanning out through your rib cage. Full extension. Good, arms reach back up and we'll fold over our legs one more time. Nice and low and cozy. Maybe come up onto your fingertips this time. Take a bigger inhale and see if you can get your shoulder blades to separate away from one another, just using your breath. Good, one more deep breath in through the nose. And a big breath out through the mouth. Start to lift your arms up and over by your ears. Hands come down to your heart. Just bow the chin into your chest and take a moment to set an intention for your practice. And yoga believes that you know every thought that we think has a corresponding physical manifestation in the body. We've got a lot of time to think at the moment, right? So it's important to know what are we thinking about being sent out into every single fiber of who you are. That's a lot of power. And if you feel like you have something that you want to create for yourself, start to blink your eyes open. We'll start to put the hands in front of us. Come onto hands and knees. Find your tabletop. Let's begin to drop the belly down. Look up, stretch through your belly, and think about pulling the wrist towards the knees. Exhale, push through everything that's touching the floor. Drop the head down, dome through the back. Good. Inhale, belly down, look forward, squeeze those shoulder blades, stretch through the belly. Exhale, push and round upward. Good. Inhale, belly down. Exhale, round and push. Keep going with your own breath. Exploring what's available to the body today. Good. The next time you're bowed up towards cat pose, let's hold there, push through the hands a lot. Let the head drop completely, then push through the tops of your feet, start to hover the shins up. Okay, feel your belly pull in. Grip through the fingers a little bit. Get those shoulders right over the wrists. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, start to straighten your legs. Roll over all 10 toes. Find a downward facing dog. Very good. Okay, grace is optional for that, right? <laughs> grace is optional for all of it. And once you start to get settled into your down dog, allow it to be a little loose. No need to be real finicky about alignment at the moment. Just check in with what you brought to your mat. Shake out through your head and let your shoulders climb away from your ears. And 
them through one knee and then the other. So start with the right knee, really push all of your weight into that left foot. And start to straighten out through your right knee, other way. Left knee bends. Lots of weight in that right foot. Good. Stepping your weight evenly into both feet. Let's hide your heels behind your toes. Look back at your ankle and pull belly up and in. Good. Take a full breath in. Nice deep breath out. <sighs> Inhale, begin to roll your way forward. So you're going to tuck at your tailbone a little bit. Roll the body forward. Find the plank pose. Feel your heart pulling forward. And exhale, draw it back. Spine down dog. Do that again. Inhale, roll forward. So you're going to feel the spine articulate. Roll forward. One bone kind of follows the next. And back. And exhale. One more time. Rolling forward. Find your plank. Good. Hold there. Feel the heart kind of pull out away from the chest. Start to drop your heels off to the left. Good. Inhale through center. Don't let your buns come up. Right hip drops. Good. Back to center. Inhale. To the left. Exhale. And I sound like I think of Pop Rocks right now. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Back and forth. Belly's getting nice and toasty. Good. Very nice. One more time each side. And then come to neutral. You're going to put your left knee down when you get there. The left knee goes down. Just kick your left foot off to the side a little bit. Right arm reaches up. Then start to pull your right arm up and over by your ear. Good. Full breath in. Exhale, put your right hand down. Swing that left foot back to neutral and lift the right foot up. Reaching left arm forward. Good. Full breath in here. Full breath out. Inhale, feel yourself get longer. And exhale, pull elbow and knee together. Good. Extend long, inhale. Exhale, pull it in together. Good. Again, inhale, extend. Exhale, hand down, swing your leg out to the side. Look at your toes. And bring it back, cross your thighs, look at your toes over the other side. Good. Again, swing it out to the side. Look at the big toe. Cross the thighs. Look over. Bring it all the way out to the side. Swing, 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 swing. All the way up. Find lizard lunge. Drop that back knee down if it's not already there. Coming out to the hands or fingertips. Getting heavy through the hips, light through the chest. Good. Full breath in. And exhale, walk your way back. Very good. Drop your head. Hands can be on the inside edge there. Come on back. Find that lizard. Thinking length through the front of the body. Almost like your chest is like tied to a balloon and it's being lifted up. And your hips are that weight on the string of the balloon. Good. Now keep everything long in the back. Hands sealed to the floor. Lift your back knee. Find the lizard with the knee lifted. Notice that almost all of your body is in plank right now, except for that right leg. And sometimes I see people drop their head like this. This no bueno, right? Because <laughs> then if you stood up, your head is craned forward like you're looking at your phone. Telescope it away from your shoulders, where it's supposed to be. We're going to circle this right arm forward, reach it up, come onto the pinky toe edges of both feet, balancing. Good. Exhale, put your hand down. We're going to swing this leg up and back. Find three-legged dog. 
pushing through that left heel. Good. And exhale, put it down. Finding downward facing dog. Reset yourself back to neutral. Good. Now start to roll your way forward into plank again. Nice strong bodies. Dipping off to the right and the left. Nothing's really changing. You're kind of like one of those little hot dogs at 7-Eleven rolling from side to side. No, there's no lift here, okay? Everything is in one long line. Good. Now come back to neutral. Right knee goes down. Roll your way over onto that right hand. Reach the left arm up and over by the ear. Full body stretch. And exhale, put your hand down. Lift your left foot up, square off through the hips. Right arm reaches forward. Good. Longer through the fingers and toes. Exhale, pull it in. Make contact. Good. Expand. Exhale, contract. Good. Inhale, expand. Exhale, put your hand down. Just swing your foot off to the left. And then bring it off to the right. Cross your thighs. Look over your right shoulder. Good. Out to the side. And cross the thighs. Look over that right shoulder. It's going to come all the way around. Big swing up. Good. Scoot your back knee back a little bit. Come on to your fingertips or your hands. Same idea. Heavy hips, light chest. And then exhale, send it back. Beautiful. Check in with your breathing your thought process and see if it's in line with what you were meaning to create. There's a chance that it deviated, that's okay. Point is notice. Noticing is the whole point. Okay, come back into lizard. And rock it back. One more of these wide half splits. We'll make our way back into our lizard. Tuck the back toe. Find that nice hovering parallel line above the floor with your head, your chest, your hips, all kind of in one line there. Hugging that left knee in towards the left shoulder. Good. Big breath in. Exhale, swing it back, three-legged dog. Lift that heel up to the sky. Good, foot comes down, find your down dog, get solid in your base. Maybe lift up through those toes. Good. Looking forward at your fingers, take a full breath in as you lift those heels. Exhale, empty the belly, walk, step, or jump to the top of your space. Big toes will be hip width distance apart. Go ahead and put your fingers onto those big toes, bend the knees a lot, and come into your Padanguskasana. And I like to think about my sitting bones being pulled away from one another, so that's up here, right? So those bones are moving away from one another to the sides of the room. And I do that by trying to straighten my legs. And kind of pulling my tailbone upward. Good. Go ahead and drop your grip there. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold down. I'm going to press through both feet. Inhale, reach all the way up. Pelvis drives forward just a bit as you pull the thumbs to the back of the room. Look up and exhale, close it in, heart center. Walking the toes together. Revisit your intention. Good, move 
moving through your body, even if it's just like this little kernel of intention. Maybe even just like a glimmer. May not even be real yet. Sometimes it's just thinking about something and putting our attention on trying to make it real before it actually comes real. Which I believe is yogi speak for fake it till you make it, right? So hands come down, re arms reach up, say, I am calm, right? You're the freaking out, right? Hands down. No, we're, we're finding those glimmers of calm. Halfway lift, hands to shins or fingers in line with toes. Exhale, hands down, stepping back, find plank pose. Good. Feel the heart move forward. We're gonna push ourselves forward a little bit. You can come all the way down your belly if you want or pause and chaturanga. We'll inhale the cobra or upward facing dogs, up dog with my thighs off of the ground. And we're coming back to down dog. All of it's a practice, none of it is instant. Right. Take a couple breaths there. Good. Start to look forward at those fingers again. Lift those heels, take an inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, walk, step, or jump to the top of your space. Jumpers, push through those palms a lot. Inhale, lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand. Arc the spine. Exhale, close it into heart center. One more Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach the arms upward. Exhale, fold. Right. Inhale, lift up halfway. You can step back to plank, step back to down dog, or jump back to chaturanga. You gotta really bring your chest forward. Good. Inhale, lifting up into your back bend, and back to down dog. Very good. When you get there, step the left foot to midline. Right leg lifts up. Turn your toes out, so that way they're facing the right side of the mat. Start to rotate that leg out to the side and back to center. Opening up through the hip, look over that left shoulder, find your heel. Good. Extend the leg back up, turn the toes out, bring it out to the side, look over that right shoulder, find your toes, and reach it up. Bend the knee, look over your left shoulder. Arms, six arms. This is your leg, by the way, not your arms. Reach your leg up, extend the leg up, and bring it through to the outside edge of the hands. I like to say I had enough coffee today, but that's a lie. <laughs> I have lots. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. We're gonna bring the hand to the inside edge here. So fingers face in, start to push into my shoulder, looking up. Good, right arm reaches. Start to roll onto the outside edges of your feet and let's stagger the feet. Right foot goes directly in front of that left one. Good. As you exhale, your hand comes down, your heels come up. This looks familiar, right? We're gonna roll over to the other side, but my left hand comes up this time. Good. Exhale, hand down one more time. Over to the left, right arm lifts. Good. My hand comes down. I take an inhale. I'm going to lower all the way to my belly this time. Good. Untuck the toes. Slide those forearms forward. Find sphinx and lift your belly off of the floor. Tractioning that chest through. And start to lift up through your legs. Look, arms back. Interlacing the fingers and trying to pull the thumbs towards the heels. Breathing into your locust pose. Good, one more breath in. Good, exhale, release down. Hands will go right next to those upper ribs. Tuck your toes, solidify those legs. Take an inhale. Exhale, push up the plank. 
Good, and back down dog. Full breath in, and full breath out. Again, full breath in, and full breath out. Right foot steps to the midline. Left leg reaches up to the sky. Turn your toes to the left. Start to angle it out to the side so you can see your left big toe. Swing it around, open through the hip, bend through your knee, look over your right shoulder, find your left heel. Good, right back up, send it out to the left. Find that big toe and extend it up. Big breath in, turn over and then extend the leg up, turn the toes down. Exhale, step to lizard. Good. Find your left hand on your left thigh, fingers facing in, and starting to begin that twist. So your back leg is nice and solid. Good. Rolling over to the outside of that right foot, you're gonna sneak that left foot back, stagger the feet, looking up at that left hand. Good, solid body. Rolling over onto that left hand. Right arm reaches up. Good. Exhale, hand down. Use those obliques. Left arm reaches. Exhale, hand down. Take an inhale. Exhale, slow lower to your belly. Find Sphinx Pose. Good. You can stick with Sphinx if you want to push into the hands and find seal. That's good too. You just don't want to be crunching into your low back. You see how I kind of like, you see that pinch back there? You want to be lifting up and away. So push through your feet so that way that doesn't happen and relax through your shoulders. Good, nice and strong. Wherever you are, start to move your way forward, find the locust. And maybe lower your chest down a little bit. Interlace your fingers the opposite way. Pull those thumbs towards the heels. Neck is long. Good. And exhale, lower down. You're going to bring your right hand out from your shoulder. Pushing yourself onto your right hip. Stretching through your chest. So your right hand is out like a T. You can take your right foot and on the ground too if you want. That can be quite a bit. So you pick. Right leg can stay long. Good. Inhale, roll back to center. Let's go the other way. So left arm extends out like a T. Roll onto that left hip. Either putting just your right foot or your left foot also on the floor. Come on back. Find yourself on your belly. We're gonna start to lift ourselves up. Find upward facing dog or cobra this time. So straighten your arms if you're an up dog and lift your thighs off of the ground. Otherwise, those elbows are bent. We're gonna lift those hips up. Find downward facing dog. Very good. Full breath in and full breath out. One more time, full breath in and full breath out. Start to look at your fingers, nice big breath in, lift the heels. Exhale, bend your knees, walk, step, or very quiet jump to the top of your mat. Good. Inhale, lift up halfway and close it back down, forward fold. Inhale to rise, push through your feet, lift through the fingers. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Good. Separate your feet, hip width distance apart. And let's start to bring your right knee into your chest. Good. Hug it in close. Get your shoulders right over your hips. Good. And then bring it out to the side. Keep your leg bent. Good. Keep flexing through that right foot. Keep it flexed. You're going to start to tilt forward. Extend your leg back, left hand goes down, finding half moon. Good, try and get your shoulders stacked. Maybe look up at that hand. 
maybe, right? Good. Now start to bring your right hand down. Keep your toes facing out to the side. See if you can kick your foot out to the side until you see your big toe. Yeah. Then cross your thighs, look over, bend your knees, see if you can find your toes. Good, extend, bring it out to the side. And then lift it up, find standing split. Good, left hip is on fire, right? Big breath in. Exhale, soften down, find high lunge. Nice buoyant stance. Fingers are expanding upwards to the sky. And exhale, start to bring your hands down. Left arm circles up. Finding just a simple twist. Rotate, left hip inward. Good. Now start to drop that left hand, drop your back knee. Coming into low lunge. Interlace your fingers and then start to arch the back. Keep your back toes tucked. Good. And begin to send yourself into a half split. Bring it back in the spine long. Good. Very nice. Now start to tick tock your right foot. Over to the left. So you're going to untuck your right toes, tick tock your foot over to the left, walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat. So now your right hand is underneath your right shoulder. We're in a modified side plank. And you start to bring the left knee into your chest. You're going to grab onto the knee. Or so you can grab onto the foot. See if you can expand your leg upward. Or you can come onto the fingertips. Good, so nice. Softly release. And then you start to bring yourself all the way back into that half split shape. Rolling your way forward. Tuck that back toe. Inhale, arms up to the sky. High lunge. Good, inhale here. Exhale, open, find warrior two. Back leg is forward. Nice strong floating stance. Good. Inhale, lift up, straighten your front leg, turn the toes in, and start to bend deeply through your right knee. Come down into a skandasana. See, that's a nice little pop there. <laughs> Lean into your thigh, looking up. Option to fly the arms open if you like. Good. Now start to bring your hands down, help yourself up and over to the front of your mat again. Rotate yourself forward, right hand is your base, left arm reaches up. So we have some options here. I'm gonna show you the most complicated option first. It's reaching down for your big toe. Rolling into side plank, seeing if you can extend the leg upward to the sky. But if you're looking at that, you're like, mm, Casey, that's not gonna work for me. No problem. We're coming into side plank instead. And see if you can just hover, okay? You can get it as high as you want. You could also, you know, work with the option we did before with the knees on the ground, okay? So do what you can, keep breathing. Good, slow release. Hands come down, you can move through a vinyasa or go straight to down dog. Good, take a child's pose if you need it. Good. Looking forward, take an inhale. Exhale, bend those knees, walk, step or jump. Good, inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold down. Inhale to rise up. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Good. All right, left knee goes into your chest. 
Hug it in close. Nice, solid base in that right leg. Now we can start to open our knee up. Maybe take a little cactus arm with that right side. We'll start to kick the leg back, tilt down, extend your right hand to the floor. Finding your half moon pose. Good. Still achieving that weight in that base foot. And exhale, close your hand down. Keep your left toes facing the side. Move your foot off to the left. Good. Bring your back, bend through the knee, find your heel, look over your right shoulder. Good. Bring it out to the side. And back. Good. And just extend your leg up, find a standing split. Full inhale here. Exhale, soften down. High lunge. Get yourself in a space where you feel equal weight between both feet. Good. Inhale. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Right arm reaches up. Pull that right hip into the midline rather than letting it flare out to the side. And then start to drop your right hand down, lower your left knee, keep your toes tucked. Arms reach up, interlace your fingers with the pointer fingers reaching to the sky. Take this crescent lunge, squeeze those biceps to your ears, more weight in that front heel. Good, exhale, hands down, Ardha Hanvanasana. Straighten that leg, good. Think length through the entire back of your body, so not just through your leg, but also through your spine. Keep that length, just untuck those left toes, tick tock the foot off to the right. Move your hands to the back of your mat. Getting ready for that supported side plank. Right leg, face firm, start. And start to stack your right shoulder over your left one. Drawing right knee in. So you might be here, right? Pulling it in close. Or you might be reaching down, finding the big toe. Attempting to straighten out the leg. Maybe come onto those fingertips, that can help. Take another breath, you're doing great. Start to release that foot down. Swing your right hand back forward. Back into that half split shape. Walking your weight forward. Tuck that back toe. Inhale, come up high lunge. Full breath in. Exhale, open warrior two. So we can move that front foot over so that we have the proper alignment of heel to arch. Relax your shoulders. And start to straighten that front leg. Lift the arms up by the ears. Turn your back toe out. Bend through your left knee a lot. Come on down into your skandasana. Turn those right toes upwards. Don't let them flare in. Maybe open the arms up. It's up to you. Good. All right, we're moving our way back up to the front. Pick yourself up. Rotate your hips forward. Left hand is your base. Right arm reaches up. And the, the same options as we did before. You can grab onto that big toe. Take it with you and attempt to straighten the leg. Okay, we might get there and this might be it. That's fine. This is amazing, right? Good. Or just float the foot. Or come back. Or put your knee down. It's all good. Whatever you've got, take two more breaths. Good. Exhale, put your hand down. Last opportunity for a vinyasa. We'll all meet in a child's pose. Good. 
drop your knees down once you get there. Keep the knees together and send your hands back, palms facing up. Breathing through your back body. Letting everything round forward. to roll your way up to sitting on your heels. Bring your arms forward and stack your left arm on top of the right, taking Garvidasana arms. Pushing the elbows down and getting the forearms to be straight up and down. You can pull the forearms off to the right, look to the left. Bring it back to center, go the other way. Arms open, big inhale. Exhale, left arm goes on the bottom this time, wrap it up. Start again by letting the elbows come downward, fingertips facing straight up. Elbows go to the right, gaze to the left. Elbows to the left, gaze to the right. Good. Arms open up, big breath in. And exhale, hands down. So just start to slide your body forward until you feel your hips go over your knees. And let your spine come down at a diagonal, finding puppy dog pose. So you might be touching the forehead to the floor. You might be letting the chest come down. Whatever works for you is great for me. As long as you feel some opening on your chest. Press down through your ankle creases. And then start to lift up through the chest a little bit. Right arm threads underneath you. Rolling your weight onto that right side a little bit as you move the left arm up and over by the ear. Stick with this or move it around to the low back. Good. Take a couple breaths here. Opening through those obliques and ribs. And start to let this arm go. Reach it forward so that right arm can escape out from underneath you. Let's take it the other way. Left arm reaches underneath. You can keep it as is or reach that right arm around and back. Good. Let's unwind your body. forward and start to bring yourself all the way down onto your belly. And toes facing the sky and we'll just stack our wrists there, letting the chin rest on the wrists, letting the knees go back and forth, feet making a little swooshing motion. And allow the toes to draw some circles. Other way. Good. And from here, just let your feet come down. Scoot yourself over to the right a little bit. Then extend your left arm forward. We're just going to roll ourselves over onto our back, rolling over that left side. Now you're facing upward. Left leg's on the floor. Right knee comes into your chest. Rolling out through your ankle. Good. Flex through your foot. Left side, put your right foot onto your left thigh. Arms will reach back as your knee rotates away from you. 
And as you exhale, let's find figure four. Grab on where you can, either the back of the thigh or the front of the shin. Both feet are strongly flexed. Letting your shoulders soften back down to the floor. You don't want to feel them hovering above the floor. Let the legs do the pushing rather than the shoulders do the pulling. And start to let go of your foot. Put your left foot on the ground, keep your right foot where it is. Arms will reach up overhead and just let everything tilt off to the right, keeping your foot down. Oh, you can stretch through your hip flexor there. Keeping that flex in the ankle. Good. Let's come right back to center. Unhook that right foot, put it on the ground, left knee goes into your chest. Grab onto the shin. Start with some circles of the toes. Addressing both directions. And start to move your ankle onto your right thigh. Arms reach back as you pull that left knee away from the body. Full inhale. And as you exhale, lift your foot up. Grab on, do whatever you can on that right leg maintaining the relaxation of the torso. No tension allowed. And continue to send breath to every piece of your body. Excellent job. to release our hands, keeping this leg shape the same. Right foot comes down onto the floor. And just let everything tip off to the left, pushing it downward. You can stack your arms up above you. distance apart. Hands come down right next to the hips. Start to push through your heels, lift the hips up to the sky, and maybe interlace those hands underneath you, scooching the shoulders together, finding bridge pose. Relax your glutes and think about instead making 11s with the thighs and letting the belly button fall inside the ribcage. Another breath. Exhale, slow release down. Pause and neutrality. For our next back bend, you can do the same thing. Or if you want, keep your feet where they are. We're just going to take the hands by the ears instead. So the fingers will face the same direction as the toes. Elbows are facing directly up. When I see people getting ready for wheel and their elbows are kind of tweezing outward, I, I know what's gonna happen. They're gonna get stuck, they're gonna fall on their head, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> so I want you to you know, squeeze your elbows in so you can see both elbows clearly, okay? And right there in your peripheral vision, your entire palm is on the floor, especially like that piece of your hand where it meets the wrist, that is on the ground, that's important. So keep the elbows this close together. You're gonna push into your feet Maybe come onto the crown of the head first. Don't let your toes turn out. Now push through the legs. Expand through the chest. That's it. Good. So I'm not looking up at my chest, letting my head come down. I'm actually trying to find my fingertips with my gaze. Now pushing my chest towards the wall behind me. Good. Keep those knees moving towards one another rather than bowing out. And slowly start to bring your chin to your chest. 
lowering down, softly set the head down, and then unroll the spine. Good job. Bringing the feet together, knees come out wide. Finding Supta Baddha Konasana, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Returning back to your intention. What were you looking to create with your movement? And like I said before, there's a chance that didn't happen at all. Right? You may have completely missed the mark. And that's okay. Notice what is happening. Yoga just requests your presence. Your presence and your power of observation. The more present we are, the more information we have. The more information we have, the better decisions we can make. Take a moment to take in all that information that your body, your mind, your breath, and your heart are sending you. Weave them together into a single message. Now that you know what is, what has been created, now we just start to settle into that space. Not moving forward, not going back. Pausing in absolute stillness. Satisfaction and acceptance. Heaviness through the hips and shoulders. about 10 breaths of absolutely nothing. Nothing but breath. If you want to stay right here, you can. There's no reason to get up if you have time to stay. But if you're ready to get going, let's start to open up through the fingers and wiggle through the toes. You might take your arms overhead and start to nod your head back and forth. Closing the legs together, walking the feet as wide as your mat, letting the knees fall in towards one another. swishes side to side of those knees. Okay, and then just roll off to one side. Pause there. Curled up with your mat. And begin to lift yourself up into a comfortable seat, just like we began together. Crossing the natural leg in front, hands rest on your knees or in your lap. And starting to bring your hands to your heart, bowing the chin to the chest. Being grateful for this power that you have to kind of create your own experience. And even though basically everything in our life is out of our control right now, the only thing that we do have control over is our internal experience. 
and that comes through mindfulness and you know not um, you can't muscle your way through your internal experience you have to stop and notice and take in the information so thank you so much for being with us and practicing the mindfulness that we all need to get through this insanity um, I'm so grateful that you're here thank you so so much um, if you'd like to continue to support Yoga Square during our temporary closure, you can use an existing membership that you have. Please just let us know if that's your option that you want to do, so that way we can get that set up for you. Um, you can also um, send something over via one of our donation platforms. On our website, if you go on to online attendance, there'll be a $5 online attendance option. Um, it's just right there on the homepage and on the pricing page. If you'd like to use Venmo or send a different amount, you can um, send something over to Casey Merkling via Venmo. That's C-A-S-E-Y-M-E-R-K-L-I-N-G. Or if you want to use your banking app, you can use the Zelle feature in your banking app and you would use yoga squared studio at gmail.com as the routing email. We're grateful for any and all support and please keep sending your videos, your requests, your messages. We absolutely love hearing from you and I cannot wait to open those big red doors and see all of you again very, very soon. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe and stay healthy. Namaste.